Today we talk about our LEPE and MBNF collaborations. In 2011, I created the very first MAD gallery here in Geneva and was looking for kinetic art pieces. There, I stumbled upon LEPE. LEPE is the oldest clock maker still in function today. They're over 100 and practically 180 years old. It's a little manufacturer of 45 employees which craft virtually everything in their clocks and I fell in love with that little company. So I approached their CEO, Arnaud Nicolas, and said, would you agree to do a clock which looks like this? And it was our very first Starfleet. And instead of looking at me as if I was completely crazy, he looked at the drawing, he looked up at me and he said, let's do this. Practically eight years later, we've come out together with 13 incredible clocks. Why do I love creating clocks, and with Lippe in particular? First of all, because when I create something on a wrist, I'm completely constrained by two things. Size, of course, and wearability, and water resistance. When you create a clock, no water resistance and size definitely doesn't matter. So, the universe of MBNF started being created in much larger pieces, inspired by science fiction and robots and dinosaurs and, and all sorts of other things which were the genesis of MBNF, but now in really incredible 8-day, 35-day, 40-day power reserve clocks. Take our friend Balthazar. He's a 40-day power reserve clock with five barrels, with jumping hour, sweeping minutes, power reserve indicator. The eyes of Balthazar actually move and fly back. His brain is the brain of the movement, it's the escapement, and like most of us, he's got a dark side and you can turn him around and you see the dark side with a north and south hemisphere moon phase. I always weave into MBNF personal stories. I don't do it on purpose. But the Bruce of family since 1400s, at least that's what my father tracked down, from father to eldest son was called for 500 years, Balthazar, Melchior, Balthazar, Melchior. So the two first robots that we created were one Melchior and the other one Balthazar. Us boys, when we were kids, we used to play with dinosaurs, hence T-Rex. Even though many people tell me he looks more like Mike Vazowski of Monsters, Inc. But for me, he's half robot, half T-Rex, with this incredible Murano glass single eye and a beautiful 8-day par reserve lippy clock movement. So you've got his body, which is more or less empty, which allows you to see the movement. The bones were actually modeled on real T-Rex bones that we modeled down to this size. The hands were particularly complicated to do because they have to embrace the whole Murano eye. And one of the many reasons I love working with Lippe is that the team is incredible. Any crazy idea I throw to them, they say yes, and they improve on it, and they find technical solutions, and they come up with other ideas. Honestly, couldn't be better. Love these guys. We have a roster of wild ideas in the pipeline, so do not be surprised if you see in the months that come something really amazing. <laughs>